Welcome back to What Art You Noobs with General Disturbance. And yes, again, this is Fun Fizzer in the Fifi La Pew Pew. A 105 Le FH 18B2 French Tier 5 Premium SPG. And this time, he's on Fisherman's Bay, the South Spawn. Now, I happen to know for a fact that this is Fun Fizzer's most played vehicle. He's actually done. 3,598 battles in the Fifi. You could say he likes it quite a lot. He also manages a, a win rate of 57.78% in this vehicle and an average damage per battle of 840 hit points. In fact, the funny thing is that of all the vehicles he's played, and this is the most that he's played, the next highest vehicle that he's played is actually a tier three or tier two M2 light, the little uh, light tank. So you could say he likes the Fifi a lot. And I can understand why, because it's just a tremendous, tremendous machine to play in. Gets a lot of ace tankers. KV-85 in the KV's target. Round out. Lovely strike in there. 204 hit points. And one critical hit. Looks. Oh, no, the overshot. It's unfortunate now. Yeah, he lost the, uh, he lost the teammate that was there. But the looks is taken out. It was taken out by the Stug 3. Okay, he's now looking into the city. Now the funny thing is he's still in the bushes on that ridge line. Uh, he hasn't actually moved at all. And the reason he stopped was because of course the enemy turned up very quickly. Ah, looks like he got a piece of a Cromwell there. Unfortunately it was unspotted at the time the shell went in so we don't know how much damage he did. Yes, he hasn't moved from that position since the enemy turned up. And of course, he wanted to get into action quickly because there were so many enemy at the center line. Um, and he's not moved since because it appears that he's not been spotted. He's far enough away from them to be unspotted. But seeing as he's sitting in those bushes, if they did get somebody down there, they would spot him. Now, he's got a good strike on that KV-1. 72 hit points, picking up some assistance as well. That was slightly off to one side. I think it's RNG. It's still tracked, that KV-1. Round out. And he goes into the engine that time. Just slightly behind the KV-1S to behind the turret. And another round into the engine bay. That looked like it definitely hit the engine bay. But unfortunately, it's gone unspotted. So he doesn't know how much he did that time. But he kills it this time. That round killed it. So... He's obviously picked up uh, his first kill. Okay, so heads to the north. He can't get that, but there's a fanciful rage. And there's a big worry now that he might be spotted. Round out. Uh, unfortunately, he misses the fanciful rage. Round out. No, it's behind. Aim just ahead of it now. Difficult. He's trying. It's difficult to shot, but he kills it this time. 115 hit points. But was he spotted at all? It was probably just far enough away for him not to be spotted. But that birch gun has been hit by the 59.16. He fires around in. It hits the wreck of the uh, birch gun. But there's Cromwell close by and an IKV 103. Now he's in great danger of being spotted now. Shits around at the Cromwell. But he's now going after the Keyhoe. Now he might be spotted at any moment. But he kills out the Keyhoe. One shot. 340 hit points. Great shot. That brings his kills up to three. Okay, that T-37 has been tracked, I think. Repaired his track. That Cromwell's gone unspotted. Now we don't know where he's got to. 37 has been taken out. The enemy has only got four tanks left to the five on Funfizzer's team. 
that Cromwell, the KV85. And I think we can look and see who's on the, the other rest of the team are. A T67 and a Fifi. Now he's looking for the Fifi. See if you can see the tracer. Might be in that dip. That's normally where most RT tend to go. It's a bit too obvious though for some players. Actually he was sighted nicely behind some trees so it's not surprising that he wasn't spotted um, because those trees were providing effective recover. Okay KV-85 spotted. Very well dialed in. Direct hit immediately. 138 hit points, two critical hits. Next round's out. And another direct hit. 131 this time. And another critical hit. And he's been taken out. So that's uh, some more assist. Okay, the Fifi's been found by the 559.16. He's at maximum range. But you can get him from this as rounds out. It's a long way to travel. But the 59.16 gets an ammo rack on the... Uh, on the Fifi so that he's been taken out. There's only two enemy remaining, the Cromwell and the T67. Now the Cromwell was last sighted in Grid Square F3 but he's no, not there anymore and he could be anywhere. He's more likely to have uh, gone back up to the enemy area Presumably. Ah, no, there he is. He's been spotted. Unfortunately, though, he takes out the Skoda T24. Can he get a shot? No, he's, he's moving in uh, an unpredictable manner because he obviously knows that uh, there's a Fifi aimed at him and he doesn't want to get hit by one. The 5916 is going after him. Yep. And the T67 has been spotted as well. That was a bit behind. Needs to lead the shot a bit, but he didn't. I didn't think he anticipated that the T67 was going to move away. The Cromwell's stationary. I think it's because he's aiming. Round out. A oh, wonderful shot right into the engine bay of the Cromwell as he was moving. And he's trying to get a leading shot on this T67, and he does! A massive strike there. 176 hit points, one critical hit. Can he get another one in? Come on, rounds out. Oh no, it's coming towards him. It's going to go around the back of the houses. Now he could probably get it. Oh no, not now. It's coming towards him. He's been spotted. But it's not, look, it's not pointing his gun, but he is now. And he gets in this time round. 69 hit points and wins the game. Wow. That was exciting towards the end. I thought that T-67 was about to fire on him. And it's an ace tanker for Funfizzer in the 105 FH-18B2. He picked up a bruiser middle for scoring at least five critical hits. Crew incapacitations or module damage. He got a fighter medal because he scored at least four kills. In fact, he got five. And he got the high caliber for getting the highest amount of damage, at least 20% of the hit points of the enemy team. We can see on the team scores that he came top with 1,638 hit points. He came top when it came to kills with 5. And he came top when it came to base XP with 1,053. He fired 29 rounds. He got 12 hits, 12 penetrations and 2 splash damage. Damage of 1,638 hit points, of which 1,569 were at more than 300 meters. That T-67 was a lot closer when he took it out. He hit six of the enemy, he killed five of them, and damage due to his assistance was 693 hit points. On a premium account, he earned 48,255 credits. He got an additional 4,826 battle payments. That brings his total to 53,081 credits. And after deduction for the ammunition, which is very cheap in a Fifi, he took away 49,369 credits. He earned, on a premium count, experience points of 1,580 
he gets an additional 632 because it's a premium vehicle so he takes away 2212 experience points in total so well done fun Fisher. another ace for your collection i think you must have absolutely loads of them by now anyway uh, <laughs> i'm sure we're going to see more ace gameplay in the fifi from you in the future if you enjoyed this replay please do give it a like and do subscribe to our channel because it really helps the members uh, and hopefully i will see you in the next replay